I know you're gonna dig this. Roll! 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 Shit! Fucking shit! Go! <laughs> Shout out to everybody who caught that. <laughs> Juicy. Um, what's Jake Paul and fucking uh, Woodley? We had to get Tomorrow. some predictions before. You know, for the uh, algorithm, it's hard to tell. They they came weighed in at the same. I'm gonna go with Jake Paul. I know weight. nothing about none of this. Woodley was not 0. A 5 guy. pounds. Jake Paul's to go under. I'm I'm not a violence guy, so I really don't like watching violent shit like that. Mm-hmm. But you just said last fall you'd beat up your old girl <laughs> if she put her hands on me. <laughs> he don't want to watch it though. Oh, okay, I get it. I get it. My bad. I didn't mean this. I didn't mean this. I just I just I just never been into like boxing and I'm weird for bringing that up. I apologize. Are you good, bro? I got these hoes. No. You got Woodley or Jake? I got to make my prediction on the air so that, you know what I'm saying, I can uh, mm-hmm. pull it up afterwards. I told you so. You want to? I got two predictions. Either Jake and two. Mm. But if he gets past two, it's going to be Woodley. In five. Yeah. Well, Woodley. Uh, uh, Anything going to go the distance? I think they'll uh. go the distance. And then if it Jake goes past two, 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 three. If it goes past two, three. Because I think after... Uh, if Jake doesn't land that knockout that he's so used to getting, I think it's gonna be a brand new territory for him, mm-hmm. fucking with a, a a different type of fighter, and I think he'll be a little flustered. So it's gonna be mm. a different type of fight. So I if, like he, if he's not, it, it, that, so like if he gets it in round two, that means he's able to figure out how to get that knockout. But if he's not able to figure out how to get that right hand off, yeah, I don't think he'll be able to, to, be to, to figure that out. He better he start shape. boxing boxers like. Like, I mean, Tyron nah, he puts in the work, bro. He's, he yeah. I'm just like, saying, they got a crib in. Didn't, 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 I'm didn't, just didn't, saying, like, brother got a crib in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, like, yeah. Bro, you're, really you're, you're fighting basketball. Shit. You're fighting a basketball player. Yeah, he's a professional boxer now because he's training the box and all that good shit. But I don't think you're really gonna figure Who? out how to. Nate Robinson. Whatever the fuck. Which, both of them, Paul. Tyron Woodley is. I'm, yeah, he's Logan Paul fought fighter. Floyd. Okay, so, wasn't it Logan fought Floyd? Yeah, I'm just saying until you until you he won that until you are fighting, like. Boxers, whether amateur or pro, I don't think you'll be able to figure that because someone who's not a boxer doesn't know how to really take a punch and shit like that. You Tyron Woodley is a he's a he five UFC time world though, champion. He's UFC, isn't it? Yeah, so he, you so have he to might have fighting his whole life. So he might he he, he'll be all right. Still toe to toe, just strictly boxing. A, and another red flag. For, and neither uh, really has Jake because he only four four fights, so it's kind of and his and it hasn't. You can see that Tyron can take a punch boxers, more than Jake. That's what I'm yeah. saying. That's another shit. red flag for Jake. Because Jake heard. never really got touched. Nobody's ever really. He touched hasn't him had. Like yeah, this. he hasn't had nothing happen to him. And I, I heard in his little face to face, he said that uh, my coaches uh, they came up with the game plan. Blah blah blah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I just I'm just here to execute it. So that's another. That's a what red fucking flag. game plan? You out there throwing punches? That's a, that's a red flag because if Tyrone uh, Tyron Woodley comes and hits you, he's just totally different from what you expected. Yeah. Now what are you doing, Jake? How are you gonna adjust to that? How are you gonna like? Because you 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 already admitted before that you don't know. You're not. And Ty, Tyron's like, I'm an expert at this shit. I've been fighting my whole life. Like, yeah. This is the shit that I do. So that's what's making me nervous about this fight. Uh, at the end of the press conference. Uh, somebody got into it with Tyron's mom. Yeah. Or said something about his mom. I thought. Was. And Jake was mom. instigating uh, him to go do something. Yeah. So I think that's another a red flag that he's, he's scared. He wants him to. Uh, he wants him to fold. He wants him to do some shit to uh, fuck this whole thing up. Another one in the uh, the, the face off. He was trying to get him to say some uh, homosexual like or uh, homophobe shit. You know, because he was baiting him. He was like, I want to grab your... Uh, Jake was like, I want to grab yeah. your thick ass. And he almost got him. Yeah. Because he was like, oh, I want to say it so bad. You know what I want to say. And, and honestly, people might even get him for that shit. But if he would have really said some, like, slipped up or said something, it would have really fucked yeah. up what was happening for him. It would have uh, fucked his head up. He's like, you think... I'm, I'm he's so nervous. Thick. Speaking, speaking <laughs> of that. He's nervous. Speaking of that real some quick. Cheats. Let, me, let me chime in on it real quick. Boozy, we're going to get into that. Once, too. Uh, we're going to get into that before we get out of here. Once, uh, once, once, once the pod... Takes off. I'm just going to have to step down because y'all know I'm going to get us canceled. You get you canceled. This is called the Raw District Podcast. Fuck them, nigga. You on the pod. Okay. I just, <laughs> just want to because I'm going to call somebody. Care, bro, if I you get I'm canceled, gonna, then you got to go. Uh, I'm going to call if, somebody gay. If you I'm going to say some shit. If you do some time, bro, then you have to leave the podcast. But if you offend some people by what you say on a podcast that I say that is explicit and you can say whatever the fuck you want. Okay. Yeah. You, no, I'm not if you tap into heard, this yeah, podcast. Y'all heard it from the boss, man. Shit. Though, if right. you tap into the podcast, you know what the podcast is about, yeah. bro. Mm-hmm. And if you say some shit too explicit, we'll just put on the Patreon when it happens. 
And guess what? <laughs> I appreciate we don't know how to uh, we don't know how to censor ourselves because we don't know how to fucking be fake yet. Yeah, exactly. I, I can't don't wait till we learn how to be fake. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, you know, hey, we're ready to get more money. Good that. money. That's so over. Uh, what was what were we talking about? Something uh, about uh, something. Uh, Goddamn. Oh yeah, yeah. He's coming from the uh, he's coming backwards in boxing, and Floyd Mayweather and people like that. They they made that blueprint, so he it became available to be a brand before you're a boxer. So he's just taking advantage of that loophole. Because you don't know who who was the uh, who was Floyd Mayweather's third fight because he was early on. Shit, I don't even. Who know. was uh, Deontay Wilder's third fight? You don't know because they're nobodies and they never made a name in boxing, and <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens when you're a pro. You get thirty fucking wins when you're one of those guys. That even are like, Sean O'Malley's fighting nobodies really. Yeah, you and fight. he's he's getting really popular. They called the, the dude up from the from the fucking food for less. Yep. They said, "Hey, bro, you want to come fight O'Malley?" It's like, "Well, I'm bagging uh, bread right now." He got his face smashed in for the entire fucking fight. He ate them shit. <laughs> that was tight. He just what kept coming at him, bro. Bro, he got his shit rocked, but he never bro, that's fell. Funny. That's gangster. That's funny as fuck. I've been lifting all these potatoes. But yeah, he, he's coming. He's coming backwards. So I, I can hate on it. So, but if he loses, it's. I don't know where he goes with that. Who's Jake? Yeah. No, he, people still care. Bro, you think they'll care about the next fight? I do not like him, bro. And he talks so much shit. I think people will just keep saying is he re- Do y'all really think the Pauls are if Jake loses? He's great definitely or good fall fighters. Off a little. They're good fighters. I think uh if, unless the Logan and Floyd should On an amateur level. Okay. Uh, if I'm Floyd was going probably like 60, 70 percent against Yeah, he Logan, definitely didn't fight him the way he should have. But he was Logan didn't look out of place completely. And and Jake is a better fighter. <laughs> He was way too big. Jake is a better fighter than uh, Logan, and I think he they look they look like they're supposed to be in a boxing ring. So until he proves to me that he's not good at boxing, I can't say he sucks. And he's gonna lose a fight eventually. I think I think he I might just, lose this I, fight. I really I really just I mean I'm not like I said I'm not a boxing fan. I don't I sit there and watch boxing, but good. I really can't sit here and just admire what they're doing until they, they fight, fight somebody legit. Okay, wow. all right. So this is a legit fight. So. Uh, in UFC mm-hmm. or uh, mixed martial arts, you start on the on your feet. Ben Askren fought I don't know how many fights against legit fighters on his feet. Mm-hmm. How come only but one of them did that to him? It was able to knock him out that quick. And then you get into the uh, into the ring with Jake Paul, and he's standing up. That's where you start in mixed martial arts, and he knocks you out within uh, ten seconds. Yeah. Okay. You gotta have some type All of right. skill. Because in UFC you start standing up, exactly. so that is like let me, shitting let me on ask, everybody. Let me ask, let me ask you this: for fucking Canelo or somebody? No, go, let me ask. Let me ask you this: absolutely not. Let me ask you this: so when you're, you're when fight you're fight on your feet, the weight and, difference. So. How many knockouts does this man have with his feet in while standing up? Who? Uh, ben Askren. He's he was more of a wrestler. I don't think but, he has any so, knockouts. But because in UFC you can you can kick somebody I in the face and you be straight. UFC loosely. He like chokes and shit. Ben Askren dude or whatever the fuck his name is. Was he really like that over there or was he just a motherfucker that tried to do it? I don't uh, watch fighting, so and, I don't. And I fighting tell you. Yeah. in Bellator, he uh, he killed it. He was like, and he's a national champion wrestler. Oh, because he damn, so he so, liked it then. So in combat he's sports, like he's he's like that. And then so he, you gotta give him. I, I mean, you gotta. I don't know, man. I, but he's you can't because he's really fighting. It's like you really can't mix all these professional fight like in a street fight we can box and if we hit the ground then we're gonna I think do some mixed martial arts up, like oh, probably i'm gonna shoot the motherfucker though, so i don't care so and then i'm gonna rob him so <laughs> this is the last rob thing i'm first gonna, and then shoot <laughs> this is the last thing i'm gonna say about this this is why i think it all, all it makes sense to me because it's called mixed martial arts and those are the people he's fighting so in that mix is boxing yes so exactly. right now he's True. taking on and they and then they for some reason, you can just decide that you can become a pro fighter. For some reason, you just get a license. So they become pro fighters, but they have that boxing in their mixed yeah, martial exactly, arts yeah. background. So it's in the back. you should I on his should. way up to like he has a little checklist on his way up. It makes complete sense for the marketing standpoint and the uh, boxing standpoint to face a motherfucker and just keep gradually going up. It's the same thing with fighting amateur fighters. There, you want to go up. You don't want to fight the, the quick, best quick, motherfucker I'm, right out the gate. Right. Quick question. I don't because I don't watch. I'm, I'm not a fan of it. Um, are a lot of the mixed martial artists boxing? Uh, what's like it's boxing? There, there, there. A lot of them do box style. a lot. A I watch a lot of fights because most people I've seen is like wrestling and nah, Brazilian jiu jitsu. I watch a lot of fights and lately it's a lot of standing up, a lot of punches. So, so there's yeah. a lot of fighting, a uh, boxing background in, with a lot of people. It's more, more standing I up. Like I, just, I, I just want to know. I didn't know. 
Yeah, no, I think it's more standing up. Yeah. Okay. Like, that Sean O'Malley fight, he was just straight up boxing his ass, punching him in the face. Yeah. Let's get into this boozy shit before we get out of here. We're 